when you're a jazz musician and when you're an improviser, more specifically, there's no distinction between composition and improvisation. I'm spontaneously composing. What are the elements, since I'm creating music on the spot, um, what is really in that music that I've just played? For example, I can just sit down and play. That's just a melody I came up with. Um, I can choose to interpret it very playfully. Like that, or perhaps I feel that no, um, even though the melody sounded like that, maybe it's supposed to be inter interpreted as um, which is a whole different mood. So um, essentially I'm constantly as an improviser providing information to myself and the trick is to interpret that correctly. It's a really fun process in that regard. I was very fortunate to have been Miles Davis's pianist for two years, 1989 to 1991. And um, I'm still trying to assimilate some of the lessons that I learned from him. Um, he was scary. Um, I would get calls in my hotel room at four o'clock in the morning and he would proceed to chew me out for something I played or didn't play or something like that. And then I'd run him to him at the airport the next morning and I would go up to him and I'd say, Chief, I'm, I'm really sorry last night. I, I, and then he would look at me and say, I've already forgotten about it. When I came here 10 years ago, um, I thought of the various ways this, this jazz program could be nurtured and what some of its philosophies could be, but I decided probably the most important thing was allowing each student essentially to express and develop their own individuality. Because after all, this art form, improvisation and jazz music, is a very personal art form. The whole point is that if you have five musicians, even if they might be playing the same composition, they're supposed to express five different worldviews. And because that's always been an integral part of, of jazz, um, I decided that the program that I would like to put together would really um, allow students to explore that part of it. Always take chances. Um, be responsible for what you do. But for everything you learn, there's a completely different way to do it.